would say of a child that I'm a mess gone, I am messed up on the inside. You see, you do not come to church because you feel righteous, but you come to church because you know that there is something on the inside that needs to be expelled, that there is a situation that you can't deal with and you need God to take control. You see, when you get to that point, when you feel as if you are about to pray, I say, call upon my God because in those moments, Jesus has a tendency not only to show up, but he has a tendency to show up. But you don't understand, let me get in the word. The Bible says that Jesus, he passed over again by ship. You see, back then the mode of transportation to get to where Jesus was, it would have seemed difficult. Why? Jesus was constantly moving. He and me, our church, I have a God who moves to the places that he needs. Amen. Come on. You see, sometimes we act as if we don't need God. I can tell you when you show up in God's face, He will move past you and get to that person who knows there is need of Him. Amen. The Bible says that Jesus, He passed over. He was on the other side and He cast out demons. And people didn't love Him because of that. Why? Jesus will disrupt your business to save a sinner. Amen. Come on. That's the word. Come on. It's like Come on. It's like me. Come the Bible on. says that when he would have passed over to the other side, there came a certain man. Not just a certain man, but this man. He had a name. You see, back in the days when they were writing the Bible, when you hear of a certain when they say a certain man, that means his name was not important. Yes, sir. But the Bible says that this man he was so important that the Bible wrote down his name. Yes. The Bible says his name it was Jairus. Yes. The Bible says when he saw Jesus, he did not just saw him, but he knew who he was. Yeah. I wish to God that some people in this I community, that those in the hear yeah. of my voice, they would not only see my God showing up to provide finances, Hallelujah. but they would see my God yeah. showing up to break healing from a broken spirit. They would see my God as a God who is able to set them free for their Jesus, not because he wanted to, mm. but circumstances have a way yes. of making you know how much you need Jesus. Yes, come on, come Let on. Let me help you to understand this in Jairus. The Bible says he was one of the rulers of the synagogue. In other words, Jairus was a big man in church. Yes, sir. But I can tell you, your position in hey, church doesn't change your on. need hey, of my Jesus. On. You see, some of us, we hide behind our titles and then we act as if we have to get the keys to heaven and hell. Hey. But there comes a time Come when deep down in you, there is something that you need to cry out in church. You see, sometimes, you see, Ella, if you should come to church and say, Virgin, I'm struggling, they will curse you. Hmm. Jairus was living with that lie, acting as if he was holy and everything was right in his house. But here comes a problem, here comes a need that he had no control over. You see, Jairus, as a ruler of the synagogue, was just like Nicodemus. He knew who Jesus was, he knew he was a son of God, but he did not acknowledge him. Hear me on church. Hey. It is hard time we acknowledge who Jesus is yes. and we spread Jesus would tell you that Jesus is a common. Hey! 
that Jesus rob you of your happiness. Hey. That Jesus will take things that aren't his. But he comes to Mr. Dead and he showed up in Jairus family life and everything started to go sour. Yes, your husband, the one who you put above God, that same husband sought to lend the right hand of fellowship unto your face and that is when you call upon Jesus. Yeah. 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 What? When the child who you have been growing for many years, yeah. you have taught the child that that child needs to Subject that they need to get everything, and then you find out that your child is asking. Hey, mercy, Jesus! That is when you start to see God and started to pray. Oh, but God, I help us. You, before problem take you, see God, Jesus. amen. Seek him while he's still behind. Yes. But I tell you, what the Bible says that Charles's problem was not just that he was about to lose his daughter, but he was about to lose his legacy. Yes, sir. Instead. You see, a child is a set is a set foundation that when you tire, that there is some part of you that lives on. Charles was losing the one thing he never thought he would ever lose. You see, Charles could live without money because he understood if he lose money in this life, he can regain it again. Charles could live without his house because Charles knew that if his house should burn down tomorrow, he have a chance at Example. 
<laughs> not because an elder is not praising Jesus how he ought to. It doesn't mean that you should seek him while he still may be found. Amen. Not because elder is not singing as long as he ought to. Not because he's not saying the amen how he ought to. That doesn't give you an excuse to walk away from Jesus. You see the problems that brought you to Jesus. You gotta stay with him until he blesses you. You gotta say like Jacob, I will not let thee go until you bless me. I came to you, God, because I need you to fix my problem. And I'm not going to leave because you are the only one with the solution. Come on. Here's Jairus. Come on, sir. That's the word. As he went, Jairus saw another person. He went to church. Hey. If it was today, he heard that there was a person. And not only here. He saw someone who was having a problem. The Bible says right in the midst of Jairus asking God for help, there came a woman. Yes, sir. Who had an issue of blood. Yes, sir. And it seems, I mean, scholars will tell you, it seems as if the same time this woman started her issue was the same time this child was born. Oh, Lord. Yes, 12, yes. The point of them, here's a problem. Well, one age match the age of problem that yes. one has. Yes. Can I tell you, there are some people in church, if they should tell you how long they have been battling on this journey, and they have been fighting to get things right, you would have thought they had it all right, but they are just saying all the way, my Savior leaves me, what have I to ask beside them of singing? She would have lost her entire family. Yes. Or let me break it down to you. According to Leviticus, because she had her issue of blood for too long, yes. she would have been considered a curse and been placed outside. Yes. Meaning that she never knew what it is like to have an embrace of a husband. Mm -mm. And clean. It means, therefore, that even her father and her mother, who would have brought her into this life, they had to condemn her. It means, therefore, if she came to church, In fact, they would take it outside and burn it. Yeah, this woman know what it is like to learn to hear, I love you. Oh. But Jesus just paused for a while, just long enough for her to get hold of him. Yes, come on. Let me break that down for you. You see, when Jesus is dealing with others' problems, He's still lingering long enough for you to get up. Come on, that's the word in your heart. Come on. You see, sometimes you watch Jesus moving in the life of others, and Jesus is saying, Strap out by faith and take hold of me so I can work a miracle in your life. You'll see, many times we are dying on the inside of the same Jesus who was able to say, Peace, be still, is just waiting for you to stay. Just take some little time. But I tell you, I have a few more minutes to go. The Bible says, while she was there, she touched Jesus. Read the word of God. And her family life was fixed. Near my Jesus. She could return home. She could tell her father that I was once Hallelujah. I'm coming home. Hallelujah. I wondered far. Oh, I pray God. God. But now I'm coming home. You see, everything that you would have said about me, my God took me with it. Yes. And Come on. You see, sometimes we worry about what people are going to say about us. Yes. But God is saying, Come with you. Come with you. Come with you. And I'm going to take that same messed up life that you yes. have. I'm going to take your messed up situation. I'm going to turn it into a testimony. Come on. Bible says that while Jesus Hallelujah. was telling the 
this woman that I have God has made thee whole. Hallelujah. There was a man who was losing Glory faith to in God. Jesus. Jesus. While one was being delivered, while one was being freed, there was one who was becoming a captive. Yes. You see, the woman was set free, but Charles was about to get up on Jesus. Yes. The Bible says that while he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the city of a certain which said, hmm. Thy daughter hey. is dead. Oh. Why mm. troublest thou the master? The master. Mm. Hey, further. Hey. I told you earlier that God likes to work. Yes, sir. When nothing else will. Hallelujah. Yes, if Jesus had what? shown up when they wanted him to show yes, up, sir. they wouldn't understand the that power. my God is a miracle. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. 
Some people only are bad because they use the yeah. And they get money. But they're not crying from a sincere heart. You see, a heart that knows its sorrow. My Jesus comes to comfort that heart. You see, Jesus knows that there are many noises that were around. They were only destruction. Yeah. Somebody was there glad that one night night about you. Some people Baby. rather you dead than alive. And they rejoice when you are hurting. They rejoice when you are crying. But I tell you again, oh yes, he cares. Why? His heart it is touched with my grief. You see, when the days they go weary and the long nights go cheery, indeed, my Savior cares. Because I hear the Bible says, when Charles' his family life mashed up and it was turned over and everybody saw that it was a wreck that my Jesus showed up and he said, Tell it Hey! Come on, sir. In other words, uh, wake up, damsel. Yes. Get up, take ones. Your family life may feel dead and you may feel as if you are next in line to die. But I'm saying, you are next in line for your blessing. Come on. By reason to say Jesus would have lost power. When this woman held on to his, his garment, Jesus, Lazarus heard that somebody pulled power for me. Mm-hmm. Jairus said, No man, somebody get you before me. Jesus don't know. Mm-hmm. But Jesus was saying, All powerful. Yeah. Power. Yes, sir. Come on. It's given unto me. Yeah. You see, that woman, she needed a healing power. But this little girl, she need a rest too. Hey, come uh, on. You, a a you see, uh, God can be the man of us problem and still have space for another problem. Yes, sir. Come on. All powerful, Jesus. I'm going to do Hallelujah. But here's what Word. Jesus says. After he woke up this little girl, he said it's time to feed Come this little girl. Say wait, yeah. but I'm glad when you say wait. Yeah. The, the Bible says, "They that wait upon the Lord, upon the Lord they shall 
renew their strength. They shall what? Mount up with brains like you. I say the family that is broken can become the best family in this community. Hallelujah. Continue to do it. 